At least 15 persons, mostly women and children, were on Sunday night killed by suspected Fulani men in Dong village in just not local government and Kui village in Riyom local government area of Plateau State. A resident of Dong village told New Telegraph on Monday morning that the assassins gained access to the village late on Sunday night and killed an entire family of six, including a cleaner, while two others were killed separately. Also, the same night, a source disclosed to New Telegraph that suspected Fulani men invaded Kue village in Rio local government at about 11 p.m. and also wiped out another family of seven, the member representing Riyom constituency in the Plateau State House of Assembly, Honorable Timothy Dantong, confirmed the slaughter in Kui village. He said the attack took place while the villagers were asleep. The lawmaker who was on his way to a village condemned the attack and described it as barbaric and urged security agents to arrest the criminals. He, he expressed sadness that his constituents were presently being killed by unknown gunmen, pointing out that Rome had been suffering attacks since 20, 2001. Meanwhile, the police public relations officer PPRO at the State Police Command ASP uh, Gabriel Ogaba confirmed the killing of seven persons in a statement on Monday morning in George on Sunday, 23rd. Uh, 2001, 2021, at about uh, two hours ago, the command received a district curse that yet to be identified government came out suddenly from a nearby bush, invaded Dunk Village Church South local government, and killed seven persons. The combined team of policemen. STF vigilante operatives led by the Deputy Commissioner of Police Department of Operations raised swift to the scene, but the hoodlums had already fled back into the bush. <laughs> Investigation is ongoing. Effort is on to arrest the fleeing suspects. Meanwhile, security has been briefed up in that area to prevent escalation of violence. <laughs> Oh, Nigeria is in a big trouble, honestly speaking. For how long are we going to keep on crying for our loved ones? <laughs> for how long? Hmm? For how long would this continue to happen? Anyway, guys, let's hear what Nigerians have to say. The governor is the most useless person on earth and a slave to the Kaaba. His people are dying and the useless man is still fraternizing with his enemies. He has never spoken against the activities of these evil people in his state. The, someone just dropped that. Someone said yeah, the governor has been brought over. This governor of Plato State must be stupid man I ever see. I don't know what this country is turning into. Please, Baba God, fight against those that are fighting against the innocent. Honestly speaking, this is getting out of hand. The way they kill innocent people as if they are slaughtering animals. For goodness sake, they even when you are killing animals, you respect them. But people are being killed without value. This is really very, very, you know, worrisome. The question now is, which way, which way? What are we going to do? Which way, what are we going to do? I don't know what to say. Because this is really very, very devastating. These are human beings like us. You get the way these people are killing them. I don't. They are killing. They are killing Nigerians. I don't get it. What are their offenses? That is the problem. You are killing people that don't even know what you are talking about. If you have any issue with the government, why can't not? Why can't you just, you know, uh, 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 straighten that with the governor uh, with the government? Sorry. Why innocent people like you that is suffering the way you are suffering? Unleashing mayhem on them every day by day. Killing a whole family. Seven. That means that family is gone now. They've wiped the whole family. For goodness sake. 
I don't know what to, what to say. Is it God you call or the government? Because Nigerians have been calling the government since how many years now? We are still where we are. This is getting out of hands. This is getting out of hands. If time is not taken, God forbid, a time will come when uh, people will be picking dead bodies on the streets. Is that what we want to experience? God forbid. All right, let's get to reactions against someone said here. Yeah, since the governor is under devilish covenants, he cannot cry out because he holds a sensitive position among the northern governors. The killers, Phil and his men, already have a lethal certificate to kill and main sincere. Their leaders at every level never see anything bad in their activities other than to encourage them to continue. <laughs> but the governor of the state have approved uh, Ruga for them. So what is the problem again? You can never do anything good for the Fulanese. So Uzo Adima should rethink his relationship with them, the Vumai is yet to realize. This is very bad though, and painful. Look at how Fulanese are killing Christians. But if you came to revenge, they will beef up security. That is why they hold on the key positions to eliminate Christians. That is why I so much respect Governor Autumn of Benue State. Let everybody carry arm and defend yourself because the spot of the cheating has become unbearable. This is, these are some of those things we in Digbo are complaining of. This, this why, imagine wishing your child good night only to meet him or her dead the following day probably with some people parts and organ missing this is sympathetic these 15 people are gone forever and nothing can can be done about it because the government should entirely brought them to an empty book the the hills of nigeria are too much and nothing but separation we just savage her guys i'm dropping it here for now let's hear from you kindly hit the comment section and don't forget to give us a